Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nadia Moor, and in this video we're gonna make Instagram filter in which from your eyes there's gonna be hearts coming from one and another eye. But if you would like to like use stars or any other object, you will be able to do you will be able to do it by watching this video. So let's get started. For this project you would need Spark AR Studio. It's easy to download it and um, install it, so I'm going to add the link in the description for this video. Also, you will need to have an app for your phone, and I will add screenshot um, of my app. It's called uh, Spark AR uh, Player. Uh, this app will help you to test the filter on your phone. Okay, so let's get started. So we click on new project here. Now we see the menu and we start with adding object. We click on this add object with the plus. Now we pick face tracker, insert and now we click on the face tracker and we add new object new object it's a container which gonna contain our particles so we gonna name it left i and we can see that this new object is connected with the face tracker because when you close the face tracker the left eye disappear now let's add click again on the left eye and let's add a particle system and let's call them left particle particles okay let's go to the qualities for those left particles and first which we need to look at the spray angle so spray angle let's put 80 for x and 80 or Y. Also, the speed is too high. I will change it to 0 0.05. Yeah, now it's better. Let's go to the particles in itself and change the scale to Zero zero five. Oh no. Zero zero five. Zero zero to zero zero five. It will change the shape of those particles. How big they are. Lifespan. I want them to live longer, so I'm gonna change it to five seconds. The net next. Thing. we're gonna change the force let's click on the force and then let's go to acceleration and to the uh, to this rectangle and now this become like active and here we need to change take away this minus and change it to zero zero two zero point zero two and now they fly up you see because they were they were flying down now they're flying up okay looks good now we are adding material here we're clicking on this plus here's the our new material and you can see it's appeared here let's name it heart and now we need to add texture we add texture by clicking add asset here add asset import from computer and i download this hearts from google uh, i the, the type of file it's png it means that the background of the heart is transparent 
when I was downloading some hearts didn't want it to work so I noticed for example that's what I put heart PNG and then I click images so I noticed the which type of picture work uh, so when I look at this heart let me so when I look at this second heart you can see that when you look at it it looks like it's white background behind it but when I actually click on it the background changed to this rectangles that's basically mean that uh, it's transparent but if, if you download a couple hearts and it looks there is a still white you just need to sh to search for another another type of heart because for some reason not all hearts was working because now you can see this heart just hard and there's nothing white behind it that's what this type of heart we want okay so after we have our texture we need to add this texture to the material we click on the heart and then we go to the properties here and then we pick this you can see the name of the heart pink heart high and here also pink heart high so now this is become, becoming this texture becoming a texture of this material and also shader type i like to change it to the face paint then the hearts looks, they look prettier okay so we are done with the i know that, that those cards come from the nose it's okay we're gonna change it later so let's go to the le uh, right eye so i'm clicking on the left eye and i'm duplicating it what's good about that that all properties of the left eye was duplicated to the right eye let me rename it right eye right particles right particles the only thing that right particles are flowing to the right direction so we need to go to the spray ankle or and an, not spray ankle spray angle and put minus 80 that's fine okay so now our hearts flying the right directions but from nose not from the eyes to fix that we need to go to view and click on showed high patch editor we click on that and now we highlight face tracker and we dragging them to the patch editor So I'm going to make this smaller. So now I'm going to the face tracker. I'm going to the face and then I'm clicking on this arrow here and I'm just dragging it. And now this window will appear and I'm searching for eye lid here first one. And when I click on it, you can see there is different different position, left center position, left inside corner position, left outside corner position. That that's what we're gonna aim. We're gonna aim left outside corner and right outside corner. Now we are picking the new object, not left particle but actual left eye. We are picking left eye. And then we're clicking on the position here. And then we are clicking on the right eye and clicking on the position here. And they appeared. And now we need to connect connect eyelid with the left eye. And we're gonna connect left outside corner. And no, this is not right inside corner right outside corner so now our hearts goes from eyes but i want them to appear when we blink 
So I'm going to the face tracker again and and I drag and then I search for blink. Blink. After that I search also again drag from the arrow and I search for switch. And I connect blink with switch through the turn on, not through the flip. So I just change it. And now I search, I need to add else if statement. Else if, if then else statement. Okay. Then I'm changing this then to 15. And now I'm clicking on the left particle and I'm clicking on the birth rate. So birth rate, that's how many particles are going to be created. And then art, all right particles and also I'm clicking again on the birth rate. How many particles are going to be created. Now I'm adding it together and now you can see that we put 15 here and it's switched from 20 to 15 here. So you're just going to have less less particles. But if you want more hearts, you can change to bigger, like 20, how it was before, or even more. The only problem is that those particles, they appear and they don't disappear. I mean, they don't... I think you get me. So we want them eventually, when person click, we want them to go away. So I'm going here to the blink, I'm dragging, and I'm searching to D for delay, and I'm setting the duration to 0 0.5, and I'm connected it to the switch through the turn off. Okay, so he's going to blink, and then they disappear. Now we can test this um, filter on our phone. We go to this icon, we open it, and you can see since I connected already my phone to the computer through the um, like charging port, how it's called, and now I can open my player and send this filter to my phone and now I can see it on my phone blink and see how it works and if something didn't work out for you when you made the, made this filter so like write me in the comments and I will try to help you yeah. and also if you like this video please like it and consider to subscribe to my channel and if you want any other types of video about filter uh, filters, then write and I'm going to make the next video. Thank you so much. Have a good day.